We would be remiss if we didn't come visit one of the best filament manufacturers in the East Coast. We're here at Printed Solid. It's a little bit windy, so let's go inside and let's see what's going on. After you guys. Welcome to Printed Solid. We got the wall of awesome, including we have a couple of hopes here. Hope is the dog of one of our team members, Brad. Brad, I wish you could be here, but uh, hope is always here. We have hope. As we look around in the showroom, we've got some enclosures with some printers. We got some Prusas, LTTstore.com. We've got the Printed Solid rep box as well, some minis some Vorons. Hopefully coming soon, TM to the channel. We're gonna be trying to do a Voron build. I would love to do a 2.4 in this size or maybe a little bit bigger because uh, I like big printers and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. Moving on, we've got the SL1S, a whole bottle of resin, which is toxic, you know this. On to the Mark III S's. Coming past the wall, of Jesse's. We will wave hi, of course, to Dustin. He's working out. Hi, Dustin. How's it going? How you doing, buddy? Not too bad. Finally good yeah. to meet you. Thank you for uh, getting all this good filming out to good people. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be back uh, a little bit later. Sure. Yeah. And past the ostensibly massive sword. I'm sure it's from a cosplay that I don't recognize. We've got the man himself, Mr. Dave Randolph, here working hard at getting your orders out the door. We got a lot going on behind these doors here. We're gonna be moving into the filament line, what I might consider heaven. And take a look. I got Prusas on Prusas on Prusas. You need Prusas. This is quite literally what? Is it three deep? It's three deep full of Prusas, uh, ignore the Ultimakers back here. We like our Prusas, we like Ultimaker too, but we like our Prusas. Remember, Printed Solid is a source for Prusa research machines. However, currently it is for business, government, and education only. That might change in the near future, so make sure to check out and keep an eye on Printed Solid as things change here. But you're not here to see a room full of Prusas that I'm definitely not gonna try to fit into our car to get back to Florida. You're here to see the filament. Let's go see how the sausage is made. It is a little loud in here, so I apologize if the audio sucks, but we are on the line where quite literally Printed Solid is making awesome. And I wish we had smell vision I don't know if I'm the only one, but I love the smell of PLA. And I don't know if you guys do too. If you love the smell of PLA, this room smells amazing. We have two different filament lines here. We have the PLA line and we have the PETG line. But because it is Indigenous Peoples Day, it's a holiday, the day that we're filming, we're only running one line. Let's go take a look and go through it. I'm surrounded by big heavy machinery and that's what I love to be surrounded by. We've got the raw extruders here being fed a constant diet of PLA or PETG that's coming out. And I know, I know, I say it's not wet filament, but in this case, it's literally wet filament. You have to cool it down. You can see it smoking as it goes into the channel here. And you have to do this to make certain that everything works. And by the way, to feed these two machines requires 200 amps of 208 three-phase. Technically, it needs to be 480, but there's a transformer for that. It is a robot in disguise from my understanding. Moving down the line, we see a entire bath of water. Does this mean we have a hot tub video now? 3D Musketeers has a hot tub video now. All right, we finally hit real influencer status. Above me is one of the cool features of all of this. As we move down the line, we've got air blowers right here that all they're doing is blowing all the water off of the filament. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. You might be able to see the water getting blown off the filament here. There is a massive amount of air coming out of these, well, venturis basically, blowing all the water off the filament. And then we've got our diameter adjustment right here. 
you guys are able to see live what the diameters look like for it. You can see here how tight the tolerances are controlled. Literally within 0 0.02. Oh, we got, we're, we're feeding it. We're feeding the monster more food. But one of the interesting things about printed solid is that it's all handmade and hand mixed filament. As you can see, we have these rollers and these rollers are what keep tension on the filament and provide a bit of a buffer, if you will, because the spools are completely changed manually. And oh yeah, by the way, this background is real. This is the actual backdrop of printed solid. And uh, we asked earlier, why do you have the door open? This door stays open because it's fall and the leaves are changing. It's a beautiful view, you know? It's gorgeous out. Absolutely. Can't beat that. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. There's a garage door. We want to capture a spool change. So it's going to end at 837 revolutions, which equals your one kilogram spool. That really? Yes, sir. And this is fully automated to get those nice wraps that we all love. When you get the spools from Printed Solid, not only are they perfect dimensions, but the winding is pretty too. And this is all natural PLA. They're getting the machines warmed up. It's early in the morning here. And then I'm told it's going to be quarter white, which is honestly one of my favorite colors. I designed white is my favorite white that Printed Solid makes, but quarter white is also a really, really good color. But you can see they control the motion for the vertical axes as well as X and Y. And that enables these spools to have perfect winds every single time. Ultimately, the goal is to get the best quality materials all the time, right? There it is, there's our alarm. It's time to get to work. There you go, the rule's done. But as we're waiting, we have our entire system here that is pulling out the tension so that no matter what, the diameter stays consistent. And there we go, we have it now re-spooling and you'll see very slowly, this comes all the way back. Look at these wraps. I mean, good Lord, look at this. Filament being made in real time time. It's legitimately badass. I love this. So cool. Does the smell ever get old? I'll tell you what, it <laughs> doesn't, but it does get new and it gets new with neon pink. Neon pink has a chemical in there and I'm not sure exactly what chemical it is, but it will light this place on fire. The aroma is horrible. Horrible. Okay. Horrible, but you know what? It's okay. Cause the rest of the filament, <laughs> and I can't imagine neon pink is a big is, is, is a big seller. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. But you know what? My favorite color, you said yours is design white? Design white, yeah. Design white. My favorite color, I would have to say, is the full black glitter. I know that's a popular one there. Oh, that's... And it works for everything. <laughs> there are, so, like, the, the big reason that design white is my favorite mm. is because it solves all the things I hate about white filament. What is that exactly for you? White filament shows off problems that don't exist. Because if you're ever so slightly off, you'll see a shadow. And it looks like you're off by a millimeter, but it's like a hair. You're, it's nothing. It's normal expected run out in a machine. Design white hides all that. And it's not that pure hard white. Although, I guess I'm supposed to say that Brad's orange is my favorite because Brad is one of our team members. So. Um, but yeah, the soul black glitter is a big go-to and the overcast gray glitter is one of my favorites. There's so many damn colors that I like here. The purple ice has been, purple that ice. that's, that's been a big, that's been a big one lately too. Yeah. We're hoping to get more colors in the future, so hang on to your hat for that one. I'm trying to think what colors I don't like. For me, honestly, it's just neon pink because eight hours of smelling that will give you a little bit of a headache. I just got some in the subscription box. I've never printed with it yet, so I'll have to see if that translates. But, We've printed with some fire retardant materials before, and that is, oh my God, it's terrible. <laughs> it smells so bad. Uh, like, it gets into the fabrics of everything for weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, there you guys go. It is made by hand here. And Jordan here is one of the guys that makes sure that your filament is perfect. Roll after roll 
after roll. Almost 600 rolls per week. Wow. Yeah. 600 rolls a week. That's awesome. <laughs> and with that stamp and that bag, that filament is off to a customer. We throw that in there with a little desiccant and it goes right into the vacuum sealer for that beautiful suction. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's pretty damn good. There you go, hot off the line. Jesse PLA Natural, we've got it ready to go. But we haven't seen where it starts. Let's go see where this starts off as pellets. It starts out in these big boxes as raw material. This is raw PLA pellets, and this is all NatureWorks 4043D Amigo. This is one of the best materials on the planet. And don't worry, it's basically empty. There's just little bits of scrap in here. And from what I can tell, it's Jason's box. These are some of the big dryers that make sure that you actually don't get wet filament because uh, believe it or not, when you run filament through a water bath, it gets wet. And you have to make sure that everything is dry before it gets shipped out to the client. And when you get raw material shipped from basically anywhere in the United States, it uh, gets a little damp. So Printed Solid has massive dryers that enable the filament to stay dry even when it gets to you. And they do a long dry cycle, which makes sure that filament stays nice and dry. Let's take a look at the colors, because uh, we got some pretty awesome colors here. We're here at the colorant, and we got one of my favorite colors here, overcast gray glitter. Take a look at this raw colorant. This is what is put into the filament itself. And as you can see, it's pure dye. The smell is odd. It, it, it smells like ink, and I don't know the best way to describe it. Yeah, it's some crazy stuff. Once you get your colorant, you have to put it together, and uh, we've got ourselves an industrial blender. Hi, everybody. We've got ourselves an industrial blender here that mixes all of the pigment in with the actual raw material because remember it's like five to ten percent pigment it might be more i don't honestly know the number but it's a very small percentage of pigment next to the raw material and if you don't mix that in homogeneously you get very inconsistent color which is bad really bad nothing's being mixed right now i promise you it's pretty cool and it's really loud i'd be remiss if we didn't show this specific color this this is Brad's orange. Now, the interesting thing about Brad's orange is, well, it's red. The raw colorant looks red, but when you get that mixture, that ratio correct, it ends up looking quite a bit orange. Got to get the good pour in there. And this is really cool that we can actually see the raw colorant for Brad's orange. I'm excited, Brad, I'm sorry. I wish you could be here, bud. We're going to get you out to Earth next year. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Now that we've seen the colorant, the raw material, as well as how it's mixed, we've even seen the filament get made. Let's go take a look as to how it gets to you guys. Printed Solid makes some pretty awesome filament. We all know this. And here is some of their inventory of everything from one kg rolls up to the big 2.3 kilogram units of filament that are sold right here at Printed Solid. And of course, lots of inventory to fulfill all of your printer needs. But it's not just filament that Printed Solid does. They also do parts, they do Voron kits for all you Voron guys. And we even have things like the Revo Voron Edition, where you're able to bolt it directly onto your Voron. LDO motor parts, we've got linear rail kits, and simply regular Revo 6 Prusa editions as well, because of course, Print Solid is owned by Prusa, and that means we got a lot of Prusas here. And in fact, these pallets all the way downtown are all Prusa mint. It's all Prusa filament. So if you are looking to get Prusament in the United States, go check out Printed Solid. And whether that is the PETG Jet Black or maybe some other colors, 
Print and Solid kind of has you covered. We got Royal Blue, Gentleman's Gray for the gentlemen's out there, Galaxy Purple, and so much more here at Printed Solid. But I'm told there's another location, so uh, let's go take a look. Come with me. And you'll be in a world. We're over at the annex where Jason is over here making awesome. What are you What are you working on, Jason? Uh, this is a Voron panel that uh, one of those windows, a white version. This is nice bits that we get out from Print Solid. It's ABS sandwiched between two plates of aluminum, and you all might think Dave must have big Haas or DMG Mori machines. No, no. Dave is actually still working with crazy, crazy overbuilt and upgraded open builds work B CNC routers. And it's amazing what they can do here with just those machinery. So if you think that, oh, I only have this small machine, I can't turn it into a business, you're wrong. And this is living proof. But Dave's also got a couple of big lasers back here. We got some nice big black and reds, and this is an older version like mine, and it says the guide rail and the transmission part of Limerick weekly maintenance time. I don't make this stuff up. But these big lasers are used to make enclosures here at the annex, and Jason, you love what you do here, right? Absolutely. Now, I would say one of the big perks of hanging out at Printed Solid might be how sweet it can be from time to time. Am I right? Absolutely. All the sweetest you can be. Of course, remember when you order for Printed Solid, you get a little bit of a sweet treat with your order every single time. And I'm told there might be some big buckets back at HQ, so we might have to go take one of those and toss it into the back of the car. Not exactly sure how Southwest is gonna like it, but maybe we can check it under the 50 pound limit. <laughs> That's what we got going on here in the annex. There's some storage and other stuff too, and of course, big pallets of Prusa stuff that they won't let me take with me. Let's go back and talk with Dustin. We missed him earlier. Let's see if he's got some time to hang out with us and let's chat a little bit. Let's head back to HQ. And we're back at main HQ, which means I gotta talk to Dustin. Let's take a look. Hey, Dustin, hey, how, how you doing, doing buddy? Just hanging out. Come on out here. I wanna talk to you a little sure, bit. Let's. No Let's chat. Dustin, talk to me about Printed Solid because we, we just took the tour, went over to the annex, hung out with Jason. Talk to me about Printed Solid and what you guys do here and just you know, kind of hit them with the call to actions, man. Sounds good. So Printed Solid uh, started out in uh, Matt Gordon's house and he was actually selling the Ultimakers and selling color fab material getting materials that were not readily available in the US to the US soil so we can actually have cheaper shipping options to actually get you materials that weren't readily available. And then since then, there has been a massive boom in the company. When Dave came in and started co-owning, he brought in the enclosures and then at some point, we inquired uh, MakerBox and then when Matt was leaving, he took MakerBox with him. So he took MakerBox with him, we had the enclosures, and we kept building on our inventory of things that were no longer available in the US or any other way. Now we're at the point where we are acquired by Prusa. We have our Prusa printers and we're you basically going. I was in there the for a massive warehouse of, of Prusa Mint, eShop parts, and printers available. Our printers, unfortunately, are only able to be sold to business, education, and government at this time. Yeah, for now. For, for now. now. Soon TM, Hopefully. maybe yeah. Friday, I don't know. <laughs> but you guys have a lot of colors here and some of them are Dave's pet projects, the beige 500? Beige 500. And what's the other Tan one? 64. Tan 64, because that's Commodore 64. Yeah, Dave is an old school tech nerd and he's got effectively working on a museum from what I can see of old school tech and he wanted to make sure that he could have the right colors so he's making replacement parts that they match pretty darn closely. We've got a massive wall of Jesse's here, tons of different colors. How many colors do we have here at Printed Solid? So we can say that I'm gonna be really horrible at this, but I think it's 37 okay. colors that we're at. 
because it kept saying 36, but I know there's more than that. We're at 37 colors of Jesse, and then we're at 12 colors of our pet G, Jesse. And basically every month you add one other color to that, except it's a limited run. Only done for subscribers. You gotta get on the printed solid subscription box. If you wanted to try a really awesome, crazy affordable USA made filament, when it's available via the subscription box, jump on that's what? $37.50 delivered or something like that. Yes. It's really, it's it's sub 40 bucks. So you're getting two rolls of filament. One is one of their off the line colors. And another one is generally a Nyx tape where Dave will randomly walk into all the color engine, just throw some up in the air and see what lands in the mixers. And that happens to be the Nyx tapes. And they're awesome because it's a one off. It never happens again. And if you love custom colors, the Nyx tapes are Really great. We, we love printing with them, but it's like, oh, I only have a little bit of it. I got to make sure the prints are good. Got to make sure everything is perfect. And also, congratulations on the first place win in the Derby. Thank you. You, you want the, the, the first place Derby. Let's take a look at this car that you did here. This thing is uh, objectively pretty badass. So one of my favorite colors that we carry in our Jesse line is our Jesse Golden Winner, which is the base isn't uh, that color literally of the one car. of the hardest colors to print in your in your catalog? So that is what Dave has told me, but I told him that he was a liar because I was like, I have printed tons of Golden Winter. I printed on the, the Prusa and the CR10 at my house. Mm -hmm. And I go through a lot of Golden Winter and Limer Green. Those are my two favorite colors. They're both the two hardest colors you and, guys sell. And I, I always haven't had an issue. I've never had a clog with it. The other color here is Prusa Mint's Galaxy Silver. Kind of wanted to do a merriment of, uh, of everything. So, represent where you can represent, right? Exactly. The seats are soul black glitter, Jesse PLA. And then uh, the windshield is actually Keen Village Plastics Translucent Amber Pet G. Oh, this is Amber too. Our camera, camera operator is Amber. Recently, you guys also acquired the name and formula to the Elixir line of filaments. And I know I'm not the only one chomping at the bit asking uh, Elixir when, Jesse Elixir when, because Colors like this, I'm fairly certain this is the emerald green, right? Yes. Yeah. And hilariously, I have this exact dinosaur at my house, and I don't know where, I, I don't know if you guys scanned this or something, but I have this same dinosaur model at my house, but it's the real one. So this was actually uh, printed by Carl from the White Knight belt printer. Oh, and well, that, that explains is why, why there's no it freaking is so beautiful material. on the bottom because yeah. if you're utilizing a belt printer, you're actually printing at a 45 degree angle, so you actually have the ability to print horses and dinosaurs yeah, without like, that horrific. Uh, like the bottom surface is beautiful. <laughs> like it, it is really, really pretty. I don't even know if I have. Yeah, so that's generally yep. what happens when you have a legged animal. But the bottom of alpacas look like that anyways. Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty sure they did. Brand. Dustin, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I know there's some other people that are doing videos. We'll link to them in that description down below. But I know Dave is probably still hard at work. We'll cut to Dave working uh, from earlier. Yeah, man, I appreciate your time. Seriously, yeah, thank you. Absolutely, thank you. And it's good to finally meet you. I know we've talked on the phone a few times. We've done some emails and all that. But yeah, guys, check out Printed Solid. Links will be in that description down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. But stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome with awesome made in America filament. And get yourself some parts. We'll see you later. We can come in here and look at the Printed Solid Red and it is just pure. That's not printed solid red. Oh, it's overcast green. Damn it. Hold on. Let me. Yeah. Come with me. And you'll be in a world of pure Prusa heaven. I don't know.